In this video, we'll talk about collaborative actors and properties. Let's start by switching the view. In the Views tab, double-click the Color Logos view. Now let's add some collaborative actors. We'll start on the Author tab of the Ribbon interface and choose Label. To add a label, you click the actor, then click to place the label. Click an actor, click to place the label. Now let's add a measurement to find out the size of one of the wheels. Click Diameter. Click the wheel. Click to place the measurement. Now let's add an arrow. Click Arrow. Click to place the head of the arrow. Click to place the tail. Then press Escape to turn off the tool. What if you want to modify the properties of the arrow? It is currently selected, so let's go to the Properties pane and change some of its properties. I want to make it fully opaque, so we'll drag the Opacity slider all the way to the right. I also want a blue arrow instead, so I choose a blue color from the palette. Notice how the appearance of the arrow has changed. What if I want to change the properties of a geometry actor in one of the parts? I pick the part, I pick this shell, and I change its color to red. I also want to make it translucent so I can see through it. So I drag the slider down to about half. Now I can see the engine inside through the shell. Another way of modifying properties is hiding and showing actors. To hide an actor, there are a few ways to do it. I'll select the label and press the H key to hide the label. To hide the arrow, I'll show you another way. I can select the arrow on our Home tab and under Visibility, Hide Selection. Another way to do it is to right-click. So I'll right-click this actor and choose Hide Selection from the list. So that shortcut menu provides quick access to commonly used commands. To turn something back on, I can go to my Assembly tab and I can toggle the check mark until the actor comes back on.